Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. It's December 6th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Yun from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thanks for joining us this week, David. Um, we're going to start by talking about the capital mar the uh, interest rate market since it's been a volatile week. Uh, we started the week with a 183 on the 10-year Treasury on Monday. Today, sitting here Friday afternoon, it's a 184, but that's not the real story. What happened uh, in between those two points? Yeah, so like you said, Mike, uh, it's been a volatile week for interest rates. Uh, earlier this week, President Trump rattled the markets a bit, saying a U.S.-China trade deal may not take place until after the 2020 election, causing 10-year Treasury yields to fall to a weekly low of about 170. However, today, uh, as many of the viewers may know, we got a very good November jobs report uh, as we added 266,000 new jobs versus an expected 180,000. Uh, additionally, unemployment came in at 3.5%, which is a 50-year low and the October and September jobs numbers were revised upwards. So with all that, uh, I think the economy is looking stronger, uh, definitely stronger than what people thought, and we're seeing that with yields moving higher today as the 10-year kind of hovers around 184. But in retrospect, the timing of those moves couldn't have worked out better for municipal issuers. There was almost $20 billion of new issue transactions on the calendar this week. That's a two-year high. A lot of those were refunding transactions trying to take advantage of low interest rates. So when the interest rates fell on Tuesday and Wednesday, that's prime pricing period for muni market uh, transactions. So I think a lot of issuers were able to get the savings they were targeting there. Um, in the BAM world, uh, what do we see on the BAM calendar for this week? Yeah, so a ton of supply continues to flood the muni market. Uh, this week, BAM insured 20 new issue transactions, totaling more than $300 million a par. Uh, a few noteworthy ones include a $50 million issue for Troy University in Alabama, priced by Fraser Lanier, a $47 million taxable issue for the city of Palm Bay, Florida, priced by Raymond James, and a $41 million issue for the Dove Valley Metropolitan District in Colorado, priced by D.A. Davidson. Great. And looking ahead to next week, the calendar eases off a little bit. There's uh, 12 or $13 million of transactions scheduled to come to market. Uh, major BAM insured transactions we're looking at include $31 million of taxable water revenue bonds from the city of Evansville, Indiana. That's going to be priced by Stiefel. And $19.4 million of general obligation bonds for the York City School District in Pennsylvania. That's going to be priced by RBC. Also worth watching this week is uh, the uh, demand side of the market. Lipper reported that inflows to municipal on mutual funds reached uh, were positive for the 48th consecutive week. That's almost this entire year. But the scale of the inflows was much lower than the previous week. We had seen $2.35 billion of inflows two weeks ago. This past week, which was a holiday shortened week, uh, the inflows totaled only $411 million. So we're going to have to watch uh, going into next week whether that's the start of a new trend or just a holiday hiccup. So we'll find out more then. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A, guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A, guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything, from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM.